Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get free Office software for your Mac and PC. Let's get started. So what we're looking at right here is Open Office, and this is basically a Microsoft Office Suite clone, and it works with Macs and Windows. So this is the Mac version right here, and this is what I'm going to show you. It's pretty much the same with Windows. I have it on my Windows computer as well. Now, just to let you know, there's no catch with this. You're not going to have to pay monthly fees. You're not going to have to sign up for a newsletter or anything like that. It's just basically download it and use it. Now, I'll get into each one of the features, but just to show you, you're going to get a text editor, which will be like Microsoft Word, you're going to get your spreadsheets, which is like Excel, and you're going to get your presentation, which is like PowerPoint, and then you'll get these three on the side here, which I'm not too familiar with because I only use these three main ones here. All right, so here we are on the Open Office website. I will put the link in the description of this video right below so you can click it and get to it quickly. And I'm going to show you guys how to download this as well as do a couple of other things. So once you've downloaded it, don't just click away. Watch till the end of this video because there's a lot of cool features and things you can do within this website to add to your office experience. And just to let you know, I'm not being paid or anything to promote this. This is just something I use every day. It's free. Office software is so expensive and I just want to help you guys out. So to download the open office, you can either click right here or if the site does change up, just look for the download section here and you'll be brought to a page like this. And you wanna just go ahead and download the appropriate software for the computer you're using. So mine is the Mac and it's automatically brought up the Mac version here. So I'll go ahead and click on the arrow. It'll begin downloading at the top. Just wait a few seconds and it'll begin downloading in the background of your computer. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole install process. Just simply open up the application when it's finished and uh, install it as normal. It's just like a quick install process. If you have any questions on that, just leave them in the comments down below. I will respond and help you out individually. All right, so once you've got it downloaded, we'll go ahead and take a look at OpenOffice itself. So starting with the text document here, you can see that this looks a lot like Microsoft Word. So this is going to be your equivalent to your Word document that you've used in the past. And you can see you've got all the features here at the top as well as on the side here with some quick properties. You can change things up. You can use different styles and formats. You can add pictures and different types of clip art that you could find in Microsoft Word. And what's really good about this is you've got all your navigation features, but what I like is when you do choose to save a file, you don't have to save it as an ODT file, which is the default. You can actually choose between a bunch of different file types here to work best with the computer you might be transferring it to. So if you're doing work at home and your computer at work is using Microsoft Word, you can save it as this Microsoft Word 97 2000 and XP. I would do a test to make sure that it will be compatible whenever I've done this and saved it as one of these files and then brought it to a computer that had an updated Microsoft Word, a prompt popped up, you click OK, and then it simply formats it to fit the Microsoft Word uh, version that you're using on the other computer. So let's go ahead and move on now to the next feature here. So we'll go to the spreadsheet feature, and this is going to be like your Microsoft Excel. So the same type of look that you saw with the Word document, you've got your properties and quick access features on the right side where you can change things like styles and formatting, add pictures like clip art, and you've got your navigation and all the features at the top here as well as up here. Now again with this, if you do choose to save it, you don't have to save it as an ODS file. You can choose the file format and do it the exact same way I just talked about. So that's really good. And finally, we'll take a look at the last feature here, or the last one I'm gonna be focusing on, which is presentation. So just like PowerPoint or Keynote with Mac computers, this is going to be your presentation software. You can create an empty presentation, choose from templates. Now, right now, this doesn't have a ton of templates with it, but that's what I'm gonna show you a little bit later. You can choose different types of backgrounds. This is all before you even create your presentation. We'll just start with an original blank. We'll hit next. You can choose effects, which will show you different effects between slides. And again, we'll leave it with no effect. There's a lot of settings you can actually play around with to give it that real PowerPoint presentation feel. And honestly, uh, for what I do, which is nothing too crazy, this works just fine. It should work fine for most people. Now on the right side, again, you have your quick features, your properties, your master pages here, which is basically gonna give you different backgrounds you can use. Um, with your PowerPoint presentation or your presentation software. At the top, again, you've got all the different features. Just like the other ones, if you go to the Save section, 
You can save it as a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or other documents that you might be using with other computers if you do need to transfer things over. Now quickly moving back over to the main open office navigation here, there's three more features you can use, drawing, database, and formula. I won't get into those. You've also got a template section right here. And then at the bottom here, you can get more templates from open office. You can add new features to open office, and then you can get more information here. And that's what we're gonna get into right now. So from the main open office page here, if you go to the download section, there's a couple of things you can look at. You can get extensions and dictionaries, you can get open office templates, and that's what we'll look at right here. So if you have a resume you wanna make, you can get resume templates. You can take a look at the most recent templates downloaded for different things. You can see the highest rated templates for business cards and things like that. If you go to more, you'll get a full featured look at how everything is gonna work calendars. There's a ton of things you can do with open office and I could spend all day showing you what they all do and what you can get, but there's different categories. Just play around with them. If you need a template for your PowerPoint presentation, or if you need a template for your word or a resume or something, definitely look here. Again, uh, the link is in the description. If you want to check out open office and hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. Happy to help you out. And I will be responding to all comments. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one.